This Forest Enterprise Scotland short film aims to show you what's involved in managing steep ground harvesting. We're using information gathered during our trials in Lochaber and Inverness, Ross and Sky Forest Districts in 2012 and 2013. The steep ground harvesting project has identified the best equipment and methods to harvest timber. Over 7% of Forestry Commission Scotland's timber volume is on these steep slopes. That's 260,000 tonnes per year. My name is Callum Duffy uh, from Duffy Skylining. We're here working for the Forestry Commission on the steep ground working site in South Lagan. In this project we've done a lot of different trials with uh, felling jacks, um, Dyneema ropes, um, just seeing what the logistics are of taking big timber up on very steep ground. I work with a six-man team. Uh, the layout of that team is there's one man on the harvester, one man on the forwarder, a winchman, a feller and two chokermen at all times. Skylining is a system that uh, takes trees off extremely steep hills, hills that are inaccessible by machinery, so they have to be felled by hand and then a series of cables are set up and uh, the cable system, a carriage runs on this system which drops chains down to men who hook the trees on and then the, back into the carriage and the trees return down to a landing area where they're in process for uplift by lorries. My name's Kate Chur. I'm the project manager for the Steep Ground Harvesting Project for Forest Enterprise Scotland. This site is one of our trial sites for the Steep Ground Trial, and this is Clunes Forest in Loch Aber. One of the aims of the Steep Ground Harvesting Project is to look at new innovations in skyline technology and techniques, so that's uh, improvements in safety and productivity for skyline working, bringing a very well-known and uh, traditional system into the 21st century. We start looking at a project or a site like this uh, up to three years before we intend to harvest. We've got to plan the size and shape of the coop that's being taken out of the forest and we've got to make sure that the tree size is adequate to make this cost effective. One of the aims of the project is to look at how much timber we have on steep ground across Scotland, um, exactly where it is and what the quality of timber is. The steep ground makes up a large part of our working area anything from 35 to um, 87% slope. Um, this is too difficult to harvest with our standard uh, machinery and equipment, so we use this Skyline technology. Skylines are very expensive to run, so we have to make sure we plan the sites so they're cost effective as well as safe. When planning for steep ground harvesting, there's a lot to consider. One of the things which is uh, crucial to the success of a job is the access and the roading. The roads can be uh, quite old, perhaps built in the 1960s. They're often very narrow and not suitable for today's uh, transport. So we need to improve the roads, perhaps build stacking areas and build turning areas. We've got to make sure that the ditches along the roadside are always maintained and clear. We don't want water building up and causing uh, mud flows or landslides across the road. There's going to be a lot of equipment going up and down to the site, so we have to plan to manage that safely. The A82 is the west of Scotland's main trunk road. Thousands of visitors, as well as businesses, use this essential route. The road is at risk from falling trees and landslides. Forestry Commission are working to safeguard this route as it passes through our forests. A high volume of brash residue is recovered when whole trees are extracted to roadside, on average 150 tonnes per hectare. These sites have limited space for stacking and turning machines. Brash is double-handled by the forwarder. If we don't keep the brash moving off-site, we'll run out of space for the timber. My name is Grant McIntosh, Special Project Officer of the Forestry Commission, based in Inverness. Beforehand, brash was a real problem. 
uh, especially in these sites where there are limited areas for stacking. And it was uh, basically just piled up or deposited where possible at the site, which in, which in itself causes problems. Uh, we've, we looked at uh, any value to the brass chipping for fuel wood, etc., and uh, we came up with a solution which, on the first trial site, was just to stack it where we could. The second site, we are now chipping it and uh, selling it as uh, fuel wood. So we have uh, moved quite a distance. Um, we were, we were, the first trial we did, we chipped and we had to transport the chips to a central location for dispatching. Now we're chipping direct into a bulk trailer and uh, hopefully by using a bigger bulk trailer we can come where, somewhere near to break even financially, which would be good for all concerned.